Sorry. Welcome back, guys. According to BMC Women's Health, among women who reported experiencing period poverty every month, 68.1% reported symptoms consistent with moderate or severe depression, compared to 61.2% of women who had experienced any period poverty, and 43.4% of those who had not experienced period poverty. The fact is, Many young women cannot afford menstrual health products to meet their monthly needs. And this is going to impact their mental well-being. We're going to talk with the period lady <laughs> and activist, Dr. Sexy herself, Shelly Ann Weeks. Hello, Shelly. Good morning. Good morning, love. So this is a topic that people think is only important to women, but it's not. And yeah, because I need not. to learn as well. Uh, beside, behind, around every woman, there's a male and we surround each other. So it's something that all of us need to talk about. Tell That's... us exactly what we're saying here. If you can't get the products that you need, it affects your mental health. Is that where we're going? It's not where we're going, it's where we're at. Mm. Think about it. If you are sitting on this nice show now, looking all nice in your pretty outfit, like Sakina, every time I see you, just look better. I don't know what kind of sandpaper you use, but oh, I like it. Let me send you some. If you are sitting there in your nice chair right now and your period starts while you're live on air, how do you feel? Very uncomfortable. Whatever it is that you're doing. And just think about it. Are you in a position where as soon as they yell cut, you can run off the set and go handle it? Definitely. What if you weren't? Yeah. How would you feel? How would you how would you feel personally from a self-esteem standpoint? How would yeah. you feel about what your co-host is going to think when you get up and realize that you have bled through the night opposed to on the set? Yeah. How are you going to feel when you have to walk down the hallway? I don't know why they put the bathroom so far from the studio <laughs> in the RJR, but you have to walk down the hallway now with that spot on the back of your skirt. How are you feeling? Yeah. You yeah. just think about it. It yeah. is common sense. We don't have to, I, I don't need a study to tell me that, that, that women and girls who, who, who have to deal with period poverty experience mental illness. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. How can a child who is in an exam right now concentrate on the exam when her period just starts and she knows that she don't have any pads in her bag yeah. and she knows that she don't, have, she don't know where she's going to get the pad from and, and she knows that when she gets up, she's going to have a massive blood stain on the skirt on her skirt and on the chair and she knows she's going to have to deal with everything that everybody's going to have to say about that fact so of course it of affects course you. she's going to have mental health it issues. affects you yeah. and, and doc I, I i was having this conversation earlier this week and we speak about um making people aware of what's happening in the country if i go to a health clinic i can get condoms easy yes. i can yes. i can get condoms by the dozens mm -hmm. Yes. Why isn't the Handfuls same? Of why, yeah, why isn't the same attention paid to women and the issue, the natural um, flow of their body as it is paid towards getting good protection? Question. Good question. Because when 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 we look at period from a cultural standpoint, words like unclean and nasty still come up in the conversation. Mm. So the judgment that is placed on women who cannot provide their own menstrual product is that they're they're irresponsible. Mm. They need to stop by eyelash and by period. Oh she oh she can't have on makeup today and all kind of comments are made. And when I, when people say those things to me, I say, what does a woman need to look like for you to accept that she needs help? Because Jamaican women are prideful. And not for the time, we dress up nice and it's a piece of tissue we have in our underwear because we just don't have any money this month to buy an pad. That's a fact. Now, the reason why condoms are available as they should be, in clinics for free as they should be, is yeah. because HIV became an issue and policymakers decided to deal with HIV. But that can't be adjusted. All we have to do now is deal with period poverty, which, by the way, since I'm here, I'm going to talk about it because I just came off the phone with Fontana Pharmacy, big up Fontana Pharmacy. <laughs> I just came off the phone with Fontana Pharmacy and we are going to partner to collect pads so that we can furnish those clinics you just spoke about with menstrual products. So we're solving the problem right now. Fabulous. Right now, we're not waiting on anybody to come save us because we recognize that right now we have to start to help each other as citizens. So what I would recommend is step into a Fontana Pharmacy buy a pack of something and drop it in the box provided and you are going to make that dialogue very different so we just said pads are available yes you just said condoms are available we're going to make pads available as well in clinics right across the island it's something it's a problem i recognize 
we're fixing it. Shelly, this is a big step that you've made and you've been you've been on your soapbox talking about this for a while. And yes, a little bit of progress has been made and this is even more, but how can we go even further? What else can we do? Yes, if I buy one for myself, I'll go buy one and drop it in at the box. But what else? What else can I do? What else we can do is to have conversations like this, put it more in the natural, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the media stratosphere, have conversations with our policymakers, let them commit to put, because it can be done. Governments across the world has shown us that it can be done. Menstrual products can be a thing that we don't have to discuss anymore with a decision by policy. Do you know that in, in, in Scotland, the, one of the parliamentarians in Scotland, her period started and, and she had to run from the parking lot to the building and it was far and by the time she got there, she messed up herself. And that is what started the conversation that makes menstrual products free in Scotland now. Wow. Yeah. It can be done. What, what so we it? just have to be proactive. And yeah. I know we're dealing with, it, with the pandemic right now. And I know that our policymakers are under constraint, but the fact is periods don't stop for pandemics. Mm. Periods still afloat. So this is something that we must take seriously and it can be done. And in the meantime, I'm going to do what I can continue to do through my foundation. I have to say big ups to everybody who has ever donated a pack of pad or tampons or whatever they donated to us. Because of you, we have been able to, to, to donate over 200,000 packs of menstrual products to women and girls right here in Jamaica who need it. And we are about to do a lot more. And it's because of you why we can do it. So thank all of you. Yeah, and I, and I know at the top you said um, when people speak about period, it's always different words associated yes. with it. But how now can we, as and myself as a young man, mm -hmm. as men in society, play our role in helping to eradicate period poverty? Well, thank you very much for asking that question, first of all. Step number one, that's what you can do. Ask questions of the women you're around. Stop making assumptions. You're wrong, you don't know nothing. Ask her what's <laughs> going on with her body. You don't know, you don't know. Shh. Ask her. Ask her. Don't call her miserable. Don't be insulting. Listen, sir, she might, she might be snappy and she might be miserable because she's in pain. When women have to have, have difficult periods, it affects all of our bodies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our body just feel tight. Sakina, I try so hard to describe this to a man, so I'm going to do my best on morning TV. <laughs> just so you can understand what women it go through tight. and feel like yes. when they have difficult periods among time. Mm. Just tie, tie a string to your left testicle <laughs> and tie it tight. Now go about your business and see how comfortable you are and how pleasant you are and how well you can wear that smile. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Excel, are you willing to take on the challenge? Of helping to eradicate period poverty? Yes. No, maybe no, the, the string, challenge the string, the string challenge. <laughs> That will give you an this, idea. This is why I always say women are far stronger than men, because just the they thought. Say, yeah, nah, I got you with that. Mm -mm. No, oh. seriously, we function Ooh. through a lot of pain. Yeah. Ooh. Sometimes you see a woman lean up because that's the best position that she can yeah, be in be right now. Just, yeah. That's the best she can do right now. She's in a lot of her, and sometimes it's not really just pain. You know, it's that your body just feels tight. Yeah. You know when you have on a tight pants. Your no, no, no. Duane is quite comfortable in tight pants. That's not my, an my okay explanation. Tight. He's not going to understand because tight. he likes tight pants. So that's not going to work my for Duane. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> no, you see, and it's more than just period, you know, because the thing, endometriosis, yes. is also yes. um, another thing that happens. And I have friends yes. who suffer from it. So I understand. You know, well, you're impressing me, though. Huh? You're impressing me. The fact that you said the word endometriosis so fluidly, fluidly <laughs> you're, you just got a point. Yeah, hey. Because I, I, I may not understand what you're going through as women, but what I do understand is I see the pain. Yes. I see the expression of pain. Yeah. So I think for us as a nation, we have to get out of this taboo sense of thinking. We do. That, because and if it also, wasn't for... And gentlemen, yeah. you have a role to play. Let me tell we you do. the role you have to play. I, I gave you the step one, ask her, talk to her, find out from her. Step two, do what she says. If she says, leave her alone, leave, leave her, alone. her alone. In the name Sometimes of... Sometimes all she needs from you is silence. Okay? <laughs> uh, if, she beg you, if she beg you some water, Go bring water. the water from the air. If all she wants is some chocolate... If she asks two more Cuba eyes... If she wants the chocolate put in a ketchup and eat it, you don't have to understand it, leave her alone. Yeah. Make sure eat her ketchup-covered chocolate. That is what she's doing so she can feel better. Yeah. 
okay? So I just really want you to understand that you, you can support her. Sometimes she wants to be held. Put your arms around her and squeeze. That's yeah. all. Don't question it. Don't complain. Don't call her miserable. Just support her and she will definitely be grateful because she has a lot going on and she's just trying to feel better. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Thank you so much, Doc. Thank you so, so much. Um, let's help to tackle this issue and prioritize menstrual hygiene. Um, thank you again, Shelly and Week. And, and by the way, March is endometriate awareness. Yes, month. yes. So sure is. I was going to say. Yeah, and you wear your yellow. I was going to say. It. <laughs> and you wear your yellow. And follow Base Jamaica on Instagram. They have a lot of great information that women who are suffering with endometriosis can use. And follow the Vagina Lady as well. There's a lot of Jamaican women doing some good work to help each help us all. And 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 you know we support each other. And big up to all the ladies on Monday, International Women's Day. That's all right. right. We love that. Shelly and Weeks big zooming to in to talk to us on We Can Smile about period poverty. Men, let's play our roles, all right? We Can Smile continues after the break. I want to see if you're going to try